good evening and you are watching man talk here on ktn home i am your host susan jeroge aka sora common that is my name on all social media handles twitter facebook and instagram you will find me at sora underscore common now i'm very excited i am your host for this show man talk and today what am i going to be discussing with the gentlemen we are going to be talking about friendship and money i know how do men borrow and lend money to one another how does it affect their families their relationships and how does it end up affecting those friendships themselves now on man talk every single week i like to give you guys a little quote it's midweek a quote that can you know you can sleep over it today evening you're ready to handle the rest of your week but before i share the quote with you we are shooting today here at the four points sheraton hotel fantastically located in Hallingham, super convenient several shopping centers around you. You can go to Yaya, you can go to um, Ad Life. There is an incredible rooftop deck where you can have drinks and look at the gorgeous Nairobi skyline. Of course, they have incredible accommodation for you and conference rooms that will facilitate for any meetings that you'd like to have. So come visit the Four Points Sheraton. It is a fantastic hotel and location for all your needs. Now, what is the quote that I want to leave you guys with today before I go meet the gentleman? Remember, we are talking about friendship and money with men. And what I want to tell you is friendship is like money. It's easier made than kept. Very excited to go meet the gentleman that I'm going to be discussing this, to be discussing with today. Remember, all Man Talk episodes, even the past ones that we've done before this one, are on the KTN Home YouTube page for you to follow. And you can text us 22151, the number on the screen, if you want to get involved in the show or you even want to come as a guest onto the show. Let's go meet the gentleman that I'm going to be discussing this with today. Welcome back to the show. Good evening, everybody. If you are just joining us, you are watching Man Talk here on KT and Home. And we're going to have a lot of fun this Wednesday morning on this show. Although the topic we're discussing sometimes is not always too much fun. We're going to be discussing friendships and money and how men deal with the two borrowing lending how does that all work out when it's between you and your friends now i'm joined by three fantastic gentlemen who are no stranger to the show i'm going to start off with a gentleman right here on my right yep. Anthony Jenga, thank you so much counseling psychologist exactly. and you have your fantastic program that you started encouraged to inspire, inspire. yeah and actually, how is it doing since you were at the show <laughs> it, it, it's grown actually uh, i launched it uh, like two weeks ago a okay. school in Thika. yeah and uh, so far I've done uh, two schools, nice. universities, colleges, okay. and it, it's amazing. A lot of people are really getting the impact of it. Yes. Then Brian Mao, who some during this conversation might be like, where do you want to press out to loan CC? As Tribus, as, as, as Centum. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but Brian Ma works in the financial industry. Thank you so much for coming through. Ascent. And then we are joined by pharmacologist Pio Opio. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So happy to have you guys on the show. Now, when we were talking over the break before we started, yeah. I'm going to start with Mr. Pio because he said him is the one who lends the money. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, when we talk about men and friendship and money, whether it's lending money or borrowing money or even discussing money, getting good money advice from mm -hmm. your friends and all of that. For you, when you say that you, you've lent money, how do you, or rather, let me ask you, how did you start? Did you start with a friend? Did you start with a colleague? Did you plan to start and you want to be a Shylock or how did you work it out? Uh, the issue of money and uh, actually money lending mm -hmm. uh, uh, business is not as easy as people think. Mm -hmm. Right. Because uh, every, I believe that everyone lives in this life. Apart from having a successful family, you need to wake up every morning to have money or to probably have assets that you can liquidate to money when you have problems. Yeah. So me, I think when I, I actually started this, I, I started with probably family members. Yes. And people that actually I can follow up, I can actually dig them. I can actually trace them, mm -hmm. I can actually get them where they are, yeah. and I can actually call them. Yes. And if they don't pick my call, I can call their parents. Yes. And if they don't pick my call, I can call their spouses. Yes. And if they don't pick my call, I can, I can actually reach back to their village homes. Yeah. So it was all about who is traceable in the first place, okay. and what is the relationship between you and the person you're borrowing money. Uh, so it all started like that, okay. because I, I think if you actually to, you are to lend money, 
then that is the first thing. Even if you are to do bank, bank would first want to know details about you True. in the first place because they cannot wake up in the morning and lend money to strangers. Yeah. So it all started by, or it really started by, who do I know? How far do I know that? Mm -hmm. And uh, there is also viability. There is also trust. There is also issue of confidence. So all these things. I like that. So you look at the relationship you have with this person and then are they traceable? I like that one. <laughs> Can you be able to find this person? Can you be able to talk to him? Because also sometimes it's not like, it's not like the shy rock stories where you're going to send goons to go break somebody's legs when you yeah. find where they are. No, yeah. it's sometimes you just want to have a conversation. Hi, if you're unable to pay, can we come up with a payment plan of yeah. some kind? Okay. Or you can explain why. Or do you have an asset you can sell to be able to pay me back? There's all those conversations yeah. that you can actually yeah. have with the person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing we're actually going to emphasize today on the show. If you're in a fix, there's always options. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels like you don't have them. Mm -hmm. Brian, you tell us this sometimes. Somebody is in debt, you're in a money hole, and you think there's no way out. Yeah, yeah. But there's always, always, always options to be able to pay back. Yeah. Um, would you say that that is a good place to start when it comes to lending money, family and friends, the, what um, Apio has talked about? Yes, if you're doing that as a business, um, uh, personally, um, the business of lending money, uh, it's a good business. Yeah. And also it's a risky business. Right. Because again, uh, lending money is based on relationship. What relationship do you have with these people? And um, money is also money is evil. Mo money is the source of evil. Yeah. Money is good. Money, money is, good. is good. Money is very good. It's a great good. tool. It's a great <laughs> tool, but also it's the source of evil yeah. because you might lend out money to family, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, or friends, and at the end of the day, they 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 fail to pay back. Mm -hmm. Uh, or rather they fail to meet your expectation yeah. and that might end up ruining the you know the relationship yeah. but does that mean that you should not lend money no it doesn't mean so um i support him what he's doing and um it's a good thing because you see um in a country in a society where we've been brought up uh, the only link the only missing link between uh, an opportunity and prosperity most of the cases you'll find is finance yeah and before lending money, you need to check um, what uh, what uh, what what is the use that they want to spend this money for. Yes. If it's something that has a financial return, if it's something that will add to their life, then I believe you have all the reason to give them. Because again, also there the security. You are assured that this person I'm giving him money is investing, and I'm assured of returning. Mm -hmm. Or if it's maybe raising school fees, if someone is getting a loan maybe to do school fees. Yes. Again, this is uh, out of ch charity and generosity also you can choose to lend out that money because yeah. again, generation is generated by generosity. Yes. Once you're generous, you, you keep on elevating the generation and you help you know, building the society. But if it's money that someone is getting money to maybe go have fun, mm. uh, go uh, drink with friends, mm. then that is not a good. That is not a good way. Uh, that is not a good reason to get money uh, or rather borrow money from people. Actually, it's best just stay without money. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Now, see as you got married recently, I like the examples you've given of what to borrow money for. Mm. So if you know there's an interest of return or a worthy investment, like you said, education. If somebody is trying to educate their child, trying to educate, you know, this and this person, then it is a worthy investment. However, you've given also the examples of what not to borrow money for. Now, there's something very interesting that is happening amongst men, and I want to just clarify this for me, and I'll start with you because you're just married. There's borrowing for ratio that is happening, and it is happening amongst um, friends. Mm. So, you know, Anthony comes and tells us, guys, I'm getting married, I found a girl, I want to go to the house. Yeah. However, I don't have, you know, enough at the moment to be able to impress her parents per se. Yeah. So, he's now looking for funds to be able. What do you guys think about such? I'd say, number one, be, be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and once you're honest with yourself, you'll become honest with your partner. Okay. Because, again, also you feel... Um, it's, it's a culture, it's a social culture that mm -hmm. our society has grown up with, yes. that when it comes to the time for the lady to be married, uh -huh. uh, you go to some families, uh, luckily for me I went to a very blessed family and a very fortunate family uh, that was full of love. Uh, that they didn't have, you know, high expectations on a man because you cannot, you can not put a value yes. on a on a woman, True. on a lady you're willing to to marry. 
there's no value because if you put a value, it will always come back. You'll see, you'll always be telling them once you go back to marriage with one and you guys are taking your skuma weekend to Gali, yes. you'll be imagining I paid one million to your parents. for this jig. For this jig, <laughs> you know? you'll even be asking today, does she look like a million? I'm a alaka, yes. 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 <laughs> so, 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 so I'd say if you are having a ratio that is coming, and number one, you see, marriage is ordained by God, so that means if it's ordained by God. You're working with God budget. God will provide. Oh, and how does God provide? God will provide to you through men. Mm. Because, f- uh, for instance, for my case, both for my Russia and for my, for my, for my wedding, yeah. I had my bosses. My bosses definitely they knew that I was married. My mentors knew that I was nice. having a Russia. Yeah. My friends, and they were telling me, Brian, I heard you having a Russia, you having a wedding. Uh, how can I be of help to you? Nice. Uh, actually, you know, us men, we don't ask. I know what to do, and you received hundred thousand. You are a professor, just buzzing, buzzing. Like yeah. <laughs> so don't, don't limit. And before you get also to that level, again, what took me to that level? Number one is having good relationship with people, okay. colleagues, yes, your bosses, yes. your mentors, and even your family. Yeah. Because these are the people to support you. You don't have to go borrow and say, you know, I've been told I have to go with six hundred thousand to my so as to get uh, to Russia my yeah. lovely pin. So you don't have to borrow. Just trust God, and once you put your trust God, and definitely also have something in your savings. Yes. That in, if if only everything goes wrong and you don't get money from, you can go generally and say, you know, actually, I'm very honest. This is the much that I can afford. I can afford. And yeah. after the ratio, definitely there's also a wedding. So also consider I need to. Uh, there's no need of me rushing and not having a wedding. Yeah. So also be considered. And the first person you need to share that information is, is your partner. Because she's the one to share that information with the parents. With her family. By the time you're getting to the family, it becomes very easy for you. So, you know, I think yes. you've touched on something there that a lot of men usually don't do or don't think of doing. Mm. Is your partner is the one who is helping you fight this fight. Correct. Uh, for your daughter yes. negotiations, even though you might be in the room alone with your uncles and she's somewhere with the girls, and actually, she's the one who will give you the leakage of actually, how to do it. And actually, the good book says she's an help me. So uh, the responsibility starts from courting. <laughs> when yes. you want to go visit, start there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell her to talk to the uncle and tell maybe and also pray. At times you make serious prayers. You tell God because at times you find the people actually who are asking for money during such occasions yeah. are not even the family. It's the uncles. Right. Tell 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 God like, give those uncles man the work to do. Give yes. them an avoidable <laughs> work to do. Let them travel even abroad. That yeah, they stop bothering me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Anthony, let's talk about borrowing money um, from each other as men. Mm. Sometimes men find it difficult. Mm. They're in a fix, or maybe their business is investment. Like right now, Corona has hit so many people hard. Mm. And, and, you know, with every wave that comes, with every tragedy that comes, even like a pandemic, yep. financially, there's always people who lose, mm. but there's also always people who win. Mm. We saw them at Kensa. Mm. <laughs> so, um, do you think that men can help each other grow financially with borrowing and lending? And how do you think people should go through it as a counsellor? Uh, first of all... Um, as you just mentioned, eh, kuna kuanga na ile masculinity men do have that. Uh-huh. Eh, Siyezi yomba pesa, but yeah. mimi shida zangu ni zangu. Sa right. mbona, mbona ni yombe, na niko, kani kuna shida mbona ni yombe. Si, wacha ni trust in God, ata provide. But actually, you can. Si, si if you buy to, to, to borrow money. It's not bad to borrow money. If you uh, fix kwanza sahi during the time ya pandemic, yeah? yes. people are really struggling a lot. Eh, watu wana suffer psychologically, emotionally, mentally, everything. Yani watu wana suffer. Men, uh, are really finding it hard. Uh, unapata kuna familia, but sasa anashindu watanza wapi. Hana mm. kazi ya mepoteza job. Yeah. Hawezi put a meal on the table for right. the, for the ch- children, ama the family and everything. But now, uh, there are actually ways in which we can help each other as men. Eh? First of all, before we, yo, before, before we seek help, mm-hmm. because unajua hawezi sema unaburu money, uh, na wewe mwenyewe haujisaidi hau na we. Right. At least if you, if you want to borrow money from uh, someone, ama from your f- f- fellow man, eh? at least be kuwa na ile savings ako, as I just mentioned. At least have something. At least that uki muomba ineza top up. Don't start from zero, umeenda ukaomba 50,000, umeenda ukaomba 40,000, and you don't have anything. Sasa, how will you pay that? 
yenye umeomba. Yeah. yeah. how will you pay? Maybe upate wale watu wenye wanakupatia tu ndo anawasikwambia don't and ni ngumu. Like a grant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. but it's not like upate roho safi. Roho safi lakini si rahisi kupata. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not, it's not easy to find hey, those ones. Those, those, those ones who give out ile tu na utirudisha au au ni au tunaitanga akina angel. Gabriel, yeah. yes. Good Samaritan. Good Samaritan, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because okay, you must you must uh, at least at least at ukiomba pesa from ama uki, uki borrow money from someone. What relationship do you guys have? I always you just start borrowing money from a from a stranger now. Mm-hmm. You guys don't have a, a connection. Na kumbuka there's a time in 2018 and niliomba a certain friend. It's a guy. Nilimomba mm-hmm. 2000. Yeah. Eh nilikuwa at a, at a point ilikuwa so difficult that yeah. siko na job what to do. But actually um with time uh nile get to realize huyo mtu alinipatia hiyo pesa roho safi yes actually from 2018 paka saa hii haja why ever ever but i tell i tell him that i know i know kuna pesa nilikuomba kitambo but it's like no it's all right haina shida so create that relationship make sure at least uh mwenye una borrow money from na wewe mwenyewe ukiomba pesa mm-hmm. hebu angalia does this person akona 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 mia gani na hii pesa usimpatie tu for the sake unajua unaweza patia mtu pesa na anaenda kutumia in wrong ways anaenda kukunywa yeah. anaenda ku involve in other activities that yes. you bad so bad to drink it's all bad to drink but, but don't drink with other people's money yes don't drink with other people's money alafu ukuja hapo utafutwe na DCI ulipotea na 100,000 ya mtu wewe unaanza kusema hapana na pia one thing i want to tell people Susan eh kuna wale watu you feel ni kama you can't trust somebody so you can just monetize document Mahali. that's very good advice yes because Una imagine sasa huyo mtu yes hata kama unamjua vizuri na kabisa una feel hapana at least get get a lawyer hizo papers muandikiane mimi nilikupea 100,000 at this particular time yes. and you supposed to return at this particular time yes. so that hiyo time ataenda missing utakuwa unajua you have a document to follow na ali sign na wewe ali sign ali sign so that's easier but first of all the main main important thing create in a relationship umjue Now I I believe money can be you know very emotional. Mm. You said money is the source of evil but it can be a very good tool. But money can very be so tool. emotional. Yeah. You gave a good example of you know somebody having fun sherehe. Now umem loan pesa loan it do imefika aya imepita imepita na wiki nyingine ukiingia hapa kwa socials unaona msia kwa naivasha eh unaona nga every evening ana tesa unaona every evening anafanyanga hizo boomerangs at cheers amena kununua iphone 12 pro max exactly thank you amenunua laptop amenunua na kuna mayeng na wewe huna pesa yeye kuna mayeng na wewe huna pesa yako drinks na mayeng <laughs> have you guys ever been in such a situation and how do you deal with it? I have been in that situation. Probably, if I respond to that, uh, let me just make a comment. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying. Yes. Me, if I borrow some money, mm. uh, so long as we have terms and conditions, whether I find you outside there, you are drunk, and you are really you sleeping mm. in that uh, ditch, mm. and you are drunk, and you can't even explain yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't care. If you want to, so long as, you know, borrowing money simply means changing ownership. The money was mine, uh-huh. and all of us said, the money is yours. Mm. Whatever you do with that money, it's okay. It's none of my business. Okay. You get it? Yeah. So do it. Even if you're going to drink it immediately, the whole day is yeah. none of my business. So long as the terms and conditions mm. that we had on the table yeah. when I was actually borrowing money is mm. actually there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And number two, about the borrowing money for ratio, mm. yeah, I can tell you, so this is uh, uh, one of the biggest causes of failed marriages mm-hmm. mm-hmm. because you know when I, I want to portray to my woman my love mm-hmm. that uh, that is how I have capacity to do this mm-hmm. from the onset I've been painting a picture yeah. of uh, someone who is capable right. of someone with ability yeah. and of someone who can please you yeah. then as we grow into marriage then a woman comes to realize that all this was a marriage actually there was nothing here We borrowed everything, including the bed we are sleeping, yeah. including the seats that we are sitting, including <laughs> the TV we are watching. Everything here is borrowed. It's I mean, borrowed. We are living in a borrowed time. Yeah. Yeah. You are living in a borrowed time. The marriage itself is borrowed. True. You won't even succeed in that. So mm. me, I believe in one thing. that If you know very well that uh, you are not in a position actually to do a wedding or a perfect ratio, yes. keep it up. Tell your woman, no, 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 you know what's happening. Yes, may I love you, but there are certain conditions that I cannot go past that there are yeah. certain limits me I can't go because if you actually uh, get invited into that battle because of what you see in social media mm-hmm. what you see in TV mm-hmm. uh, I saw Susan with a well creating <laughs> wedding over there yeah. right. I want my wedding to be like Susan yes. and then all of a sudden I have to, to go call my friends mm-hmm. ah, borrow me, borrow me, borrow me, borrow me, borrow me, borrow me. Yeah. 
Then after that, oh, now I have 600,000. I want to do my rulership. We are living, or I'm telling you that mm. marriage is living in a borrowed time. It will end in deep tears. tears and premium. To let it tears. <laughs> so from what you're telling me, that yeah. uh, whatever you ask me, that uh, you lend some money, yeah. then uh, in, the, in the long run, it has, it has passed actually the time that uh, you people are great. Mm. Yes. Me, the best approach I usually give you is, is that, uh, number one, you might not know the challenges somebody's under. Mm. So it's better to give people grace period. Mm. Okay. If we agree that actually you're supposed to pay this two months, yeah. mm, then it is past two months. Mm -hmm. You know that I see you partying, or I, I see you having my end, mm. mm. or I see you actually showing or portraying a, a, a certain kind of life mm. yeah. to show that you have money. Yeah, I'll give you first a grace period. Okay. But then probably after two months, it will pass and two years. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Hi, are you okay? In fact, I won't even, I won't even text you that. Can, can you bring me that my money? Yeah. Like, are you okay? Yeah, I am okay. Fine. I was just checking. Right. Means that is our first high approach. Yes. So that remind someone in the mm -hmm. that actually you made an obligation and you have not achieved it so mm -hmm. far. So mm -hmm. then now, Ikipita, probably one month, mm -hmm. two months, and there is no formal communication. Yes. Borrowers usually fail in one thing. If you borrow money, you must be someone who is communicating. A number of them don't even pay calls. Mm. You get it? Yeah. You must be someone who is communicating. Don't just sit there. Don't live in guilt because at one point that money was your heaven. Yeah. That money was your pride. That is mm. true. That money was your happiness. So, so if actually you respect me and you respect the money that I give you, what you need to do? Communicate. Some usually go as far as actually closing on that line. That's the very common of that line. They open a new they one. open a new one. Mm -hmm. When you're borrowing, know that you are risking more than you know. Yeah. I like the advice you've given, especially about communication. That's usually a very, very big one when you have borrowed money. If the date comes and you don't have the money or you only have 5% of it, you only have 10% of it, don't go silent on the person that lent you the money. You would be surprised when you explain to them the situation or you give them a grace period or you give them a different payment plan. Because trust me, we don't need to even be friends. Exactly. We're going to take a short break, but stay right here on KTN Home, Man Talk will be back, so don't move.